Thank you for tuning in to this screencast. I'm Rex Proctor. In this screencast, we're going to cover off the angles foldering system. So in the left-hand sidebar, you'll see that you have a home folder. That is created by default, and you can view where that is by right-clicking on the home folder and choosing Reveal in Finder. Any files that you create will appear in this list, and you can reveal them in Finder by right-clicking on them. So here is the home folder. It is in the user's movies folder and it is created by default and you cannot change this. If we right click on this, we can show package contents and you can see what's happening on the inside is we've got a bunch of different file types. So everything that you work on for a project is going to be stored in this folder. So it's basically just a package for everything that you have that you're working on. You can create multiple folders. You right click in the left hand sidebar and create a folder. They can be located anywhere. So let's save this one to the USB drive. And I'll call this uh, demo. And that is here we look in there we can see that's the new folder that I just created so you can create them anywhere so let's go ahead and mount a folder that I already have by double clicking on the folder it will appear or be mounted in the files list in the left hand sidebar so I'm going to double click on Marines and you can see that now Marines appears in the list why you want to have folders in the list is so that you can search them and use files across multiple folders. So if I want to copy something to say my demo folder that's on my USB, I simply grab it and drag it onto the USB. You'll notice here that the target folder will have a rotating uh, graphic on it indicating that that's where the file will be copied to. So I'll drag and drop that in and you can see that that will quickly copy that across. This isn't the fastest USB device in the world but you do get some indication that it is copying a little progress wheel. So that's copying over to a, another volume that's connected by USB. While that's going on I'm going to create a new folder on a server. So I have my piston server set up here and I'm going to connect as that and go in here. So that's now mounted and I'm going to save this and I'll call this Marines 2. And I'll save that in there. Now you'll see when I've done this over a server connection that I did via SMB connectivity that I have a small s. So that indicates to you that it is a server that you're connected to and have a folder in there. So that is indicating that. So if I control and click, I can reveal that in Finder and that will take me to the connected system that I'm storing that file on. Now I'm gonna let this continue to copy. I was hoping that might go a bit quicker. But what's cool about the foldering system is that you can search it. So let's have a look here. Let's go back into our content and we're gonna open up one more. And you can see that I've added the Swans one. And if I'm looking for anything with Sydney, I go SYD and that filters in any file that has SYD in the name. You can use OR and NOTS, loaded, not loaded. Uh, in order to filter in what you're looking for. So you could have a hundred different folders mounted and quickly search through those. Now the important thing that I want you to understand is we have this disclosure triangle that's red and that means that it is the focus folder. So any new content will be saved in that folder. Okay, so now we've copied everything across. I want to show you something rather unique. So I'm going to disconnect, I'm going to eject from my server, and then I'm going to relaunch angles. Now what happens is that Marines 2 folder that we created is not mounted, so it appears red. So it cannot be found inside of angles because we're not connected to it. So if I quit that and I'll go back in and I will connect back to my Freedom 1, connect as and we'll do this 
there and you'll see that we're now connected to it there is my marines folder now when i launch that will no longer be read and it will be available so that i can copy you know something to it like that and again that's it now a good trick in the files list if you hold option and click on the disclosure triangles that will open or disclose all of the folders or it will close them alternatively and remember that this red one indicates that that is the focus folder if you want you can hold down option and double click on the folder name and that will then set that focus to that folder that's where everything that you start creating from now on will be saved so just note that when you double click on a uh, folder let's find another folder and we'll do basketball that it becomes the focus folder immediately which is very convenient because if you hand someone a USB device with a folder on it they double click and they start working anything new that they create will automatically be saved into that folder so again just to, to reiterate if I'm looking for a file MIA that filters in all my Miami games so very cool and that also is saved across the different super tabs so if I create a new super tab you notice that the this list is not filtered but if I go back to super tab one it does stay filtered so as angles matures you'll see that you're going to be able to share that and that makes usage a lot easier for people okay one last thing um, the folders can be removed often you're no longer working with a project or a scout or whatever it might be you can get rid of those so that they're not cluttering up uh, the files list so all I need to do is make sure that the files are closed and not open anywhere in the window and I control click or right click and I remove those from the folder or from the file search so really easy just to clean all those up because I don't need those anymore um, boom and now I'm back to my original one folder so just remove those now remember you're not deleting them you're just removing them it works very similar to the dock here I have keynote in the dock and if I click and drag keynote out and I remove it all I'm removing is the shortcut to it I'm not actually deleting keynote from my file system and the, the folders are the same so if I navigate back into my content and I double click on football it's quickly mounted there and it is the focus folder